Hey, good evening. I'm Ray Calabas II, doing a very special edition of my reviews over YouTube and another addition to my series of cigar reviews. Um, today is Sunday night around 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Baltimore, Maryland, USA. Today is Sunday, May 19th. 2019. Um, tonight's going to be a very special review. Um, it's not really going to be about cigars, although I will be smoking a cigar to pair with um, today's uh, featured featured um, product or products. I'll be reviewing um, American Bourbon Whiskey. Um, Tonight will be focused on six American whiskeys, five of which are Kentucky, well actually four are Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, one Virginia straight bourbon whiskey, and one Kentucky rye, straight rye whiskey. So th that's what's, what's, what we're doing today, or tonight. The... Um, this is, if you ever saw my previous review, probably around 20 reviews ago, it was uh, the whiskeys of the world. This will be a very similar format. I will be sampling these six American whiskeys and pairing it with a cigar. I'll be giving flavor notes and a little bit of history. I'll be giving flavor notes on, on all the whiskeys and a little bit of history on some of the whiskeys. So, um, that's what we're doing tonight. Also pairing with, uh, some water, some coffee. Coffee goes well with cigars, and it also goes well with cigars and, and whiskey because of the brown nature, the flavors of both the whiskey, the cigar, and the bourbon, and the, and the coffee. So the coffee is a very natural and very um, very good pairing uh, with this uh, whiskey review. Smoking a cigarette. The cigar for tonight that um, I'll be pairing with the six American whiskeys is a Davidoff. Anniversario Special R Tubo should be a nice pairing. Um, it won't it won't be taking away my attention from the whiskey, but it should also be very complimentary to the tastings of the six American whiskeys that I'll be drinking and pairing with the cigar. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the review. Um, I'm kind of excited for this. Like I said, it's Sunday. May, Sunday night, May 19, 2019, around 10.58 in the evening, Eastern Standard Time in Baltimore, Maryland. B. Morhan, you know, gotta love it. Beautiful spring night, um, just wonderful out here. It's kind of warm. I would say it's about like, feels like around 77 degrees out here. I'm shooting from my enclosed patio. Have the screen doors open. Smoking a cigarette. Oh, and I'm wearing my uh, the, the the watch I'm wearing tonight um, is my Omega Constellation, gold and silver, with a gold face. Love this watch. That's the watch I'm wearing tonight. Thought I'd wear my best watch um, for this special American bourbon whiskey review, along with the Davidoff. All right, so that's what we're doing. Gonna have a little bit of coffee. Hope everyone's doing well out there. As you might know, this is the second review I'm doing today, Sunday, May nineteenth. I did one earlier today. Um, that was a, that was a great review too. Um, so this is the second review I'm doing. Anyway, I uh, hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, I'm sure everyone on the East Coast, anyway, is probably getting ready to get tucked into bed. Um, and everywhere, everywhere else in the country is probably getting ready to um, 
head off to sleep around the world and in this country. I wish the best for everybody. My sincerest hope for well-being for everybody. All right. I'm going to have a break. Um, bye, escondidos, amigos. Hey, hola, como estas? Ni ma. Welcome back to the uh, first portion of this very special um, edition, American Bourbon Whiskeys, um, although one of the whiskeys is American Straight Rye Whiskey. Uh, American Whiskeys, uh, cigar, I mean, um, along with a cigar review of the Davidoff um, Anniversario Special R. So let's start off... Um, going ahead and opening up the old Davidoff, kind of get this out of the way. Um, like I said, the focus won't be on cigar, on, on the Davidoff cigar. It's, uh, the Davidoff cigar is basically, um, just, just for pairing with the, uh, with the, with the whiskeys, the American whiskeys. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Here it is. Oh, this is the 50th anniversary um, Davidoff uh, Special R. I reviewed this one um, not too long ago, the uh, 50th anniversary Davidoff Anniversario Special R. Very special cigar. Five-star cigar. Um, can't go wrong smoking this. Loving it on a Sunday night. You know, I had nothing better to do, so I was like, hey, man, I mean, I feel like drinking some whiskey and... Uh, Decided to do a little bit of a of a whiskey tasting a review, and smoke this wonderful uh, Davidoff Davidoff 50th anniversary special R anniversario. Should be very nice. Uh, should be a very good pairing to the whiskeys. So let's go ahead and uh, clip it. There we go. Um, Mmm, kind of tastes like hazelnuts. Mmm, sweet and light tobacco aroma coming off the wrapper. Sweet, light aroma of, of um, sweet tobacco coming off the foot. Feels like it's very packed very well. Um, not too, not too, not too, have, not too full. Not spongy. Uh, Davidoffs are known to have great uh, draws and construction, so should be good. All right, let's see if I can go ahead and toast the uh, the foot of the uh, Davidoff. Mm, very sweet tobacco right now. Wonderful cigar. Like I said, I reviewed the uh, Davidoff Anniversario 50th Anniversary uh, Special R um, not too long ago, and they created out to a five-star cigar, so kind of excited to uh, smoke this. Go ahead and toast the edge of the foot. See what it tastes like. Like I said, this is the Davidoff 50th Anniversary Special R Anniversario Tubo. Not quite properly lit.
Ooh. Very powerful. Um, some pencil lead, some charcoal, some sweet tobacco, and hazelnuts. Just wonderful. No, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from a 50th anniversary uh, Davidoff uh, Special R Anniversario. Sweet tobacco through the retro hail. All right. Off to a good start. All right, so like I, like I said earlier, this is mainly about the whiskeys, the American whiskeys. Um, mostly bourbons, but I do have one um, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey, that being Old Forester. But um, uh, let me introduce you to the, uh, the bourbons. Um, well, actually, no, we'll just do this one by one. Uh, the first bourbon that I'm going to be um, sampling for this review is we're going to start off strong. We're going to start off with my favorite bourbon, um, and that being Woodford Reserve. Good old uh, Woodford Reserve, um, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Um, Woodford Reserve is produced by the Brown Foreman Corporation. Uh, makers of um, Old Forester, one of the one of the strongest and and, and largest, um, I, I think, uh, uh, bourbon or whiskey producing corporations. So Brown Foreman's very big in the uh, whiskey uh, industry. And the uh, open up the old uh, Woody, my favorite uh, bourbon of all time. Um, <clears throat> love this bourbon. Um, mm. Ooh, that's a wonderful uh, cigar right now. So this is the old, uh, Woodford Reserve, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Starting off strong, my favorite, um, my favorite bourbon, uh, by far. I mean, um, it's not the most complex bourbon, but it just, it just fits me right. It's very straightforward and very elegant. And, I mean, I'm just happy every time I drink it. So, you know, this is just one of my favorite bourbon. I'm not going to give myself too heavy pours. Um... Don't, I want to make it through this review, so, you know, I'm going to probably like half an ounce, hopefully, for each pour, so. Oh, very strong, elegant nose of caramel. Oh, just perfect. It is complex, very smooth, and very straightforward, and very delicious. It's a relatively um, young bourbon in, ter in terms of like lineage. I believe um, it was released in the 90s. So it doesn't have like, you know, the history of some of the older and other Kentucky Straight Bourbon whiskeys, but, um, you know, this, this is definitely one of my favorite whiskeys. Just delicious. Very elegant and flavorful at the same time. Um, it just. You know, this this will probably be, you know, always will always will be my favorite bourbon. So you know, it's my favorite liquor. So it's just very elegant and very flavorful and very straightforward. And that's what I like about it. So Yeah. Just so easy going down. Just just straightforward, flavorful complex and easy going down and, and it has a sweetness to it just wonderful I've drank a lot of whiskeys in my life right now you know some are more complex than than Woodford but nothing has that combination that I that that suits me right just like Woodford so I mean that's just where it, where it is right now with me with, with uh, whiskey all right so um on to another powerhouse uh, bourbon. Um, 
This one has a lot of history. The good old Jim Beam. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Bourbon from out of Kentucky. Gotta love Kentucky, man. Like I said before, I said this in other reviews. I'm a proud Marylander, but if I was born in another state, I wouldn't mind it being Kentucky. You know, they make great bourbon over there, and they have the Kentucky Derby. A lot of great things coming out of Kentucky, you know, a lot of proud things. Proud, if you are from Kentucky, there's a lot to be proud of. But, you know, I mean, I'm from Maryland, and I love Maryland, and, you know, but it's not, you know, I mean, I got to give props to a great state like Kentucky, so. Especially because of the bourbon in the Kentucky Derby. There's a lot of great things coming out of Kentucky, too, so. All right, the old Jim Bean. Um, Jim Bean, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Um, I believe the master distiller is Fred No. Oh, let me check. Let me just check that out. I'm, I'm pretty sure Fred No is the uh, the master distiller um, over there at Jim Bean. Yeah, Fred No. Um, for, he was uh, from night. He was born in 1957, and um, I think it was born in 1950. Yeah, and is is the current master distiller over at Jim Beam. Jim Beam, you know, is a very historic company. Like I said, going from strength to strength, from Woodford Reserve to Jim Beam, um, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I mean, it's hard not to go to, from strength to strength when you when you talk about Kentucky Bourbon or Kentucky Whiskey. So. You know, but I mean, you're going from strength to strength with uh, going from Woodford to um, Jim Beam. We'll take a break after um, after I sample the old Jim Beam Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Love this whiskey. Um, just a just a wonderful, beautiful whiskey. Not too expensive either. This. I think this fifth cost me about twenty dollars. I believe, not too bad for a beautiful whiskey or bourbon, bourbon whiskey. A uh, very elegant nose, a very a much more elegant nose than that of the um, the Woodford. The Woodford had a had a more stronger kind of like bourbon nose, and this is a more elegant nose, kind of a lighter in tone. Hmm, strong. This has a bit more alcohol um, taste to it, or presence. Um, not as caramelly and not as sweet as the Woodford. Very nice though. It's nice to have variety in the uh, in the bourbon or American whiskey that you have, because they all have different characters, and it's kind of interesting to um, to taste them all. So. The old um, Davidoff is smoking great. Davidoff 50th anniversary special R anniversario tubo smoking great. YC tobacco, sweet tobacco, um, spicy sweet tobacco and pepper. Very nice. Try the old Jim Beam again. Very elegant. I would say this is more elegant than the Woodford. Not as flavorful as term, in terms of the caramel note. Um, but uh, it has a little bit of leather in it. More of an alcohol presence. Um, very elegant and mature. It's a very elegant and mature bourbon. Very delicious. Um, mm, delicious. All right, so two down. Cleanse the palate with some water. Yeah, good. Try the old Davidoff. Oh, spicy. Charcoal, sweet tobacco, hazelnuts. All right, gonna hit my um, second break. Um, hope everyone's doing well out there. Hope you guys are enjoying this little American whisker review. 
And hope everyone's well out there. All right, I'm gonna hit my next break. Yeah, like I said before, it is Sunday, May 19, 2019, around 11:15 in the evening, Eastern Standard Time in Baltimore, in Baltimore, Maryland, Han. Coming from a B moron, Baltimore, on. Gotta love the simple life. I love being simple and happy. And drinking bourbon and smoking cigars. All right, y'all take care out there. I'm gonna hit my next break. Bye, Escondidas, amigos. Okay, hello out there. Hola, como estas? Ni hao ma. How's everyone doing out there? We're back into the um, second um, part of this whiskey review, American whiskey review, of um, while well, pairing it with the Davidoff Anniversario 50th Anniversary Special Artubo. Going over some great American whiskeys. I couldn't do all the whiskeys that I have. There were some omissions, but I have to fit this into a, a certain time frame. So that's basically the reason why um, I haven't included some other um, American whiskeys. And they're all great whiskeys that I have, American whiskeys. But these are some really great whiskeys too. The next whiskey pairing with the um, Davidoff um, anniversary, 50th, 50th anniversary. Robusto. Actually, the Robusto is looking great. Getting sweet tobacco with uh, pepper, spice, and charcoal. Just a wonderful combination. Very easy going right now. Very delicious, like a Davidoff would be. Very spicy. Very nice. So, we're going on to another venerable. Um, American straight American bourbon with Kentucky straight Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, one that 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 is um, almost ubiquitous. Everybody knows this whiskey, and it's a wonderful whiskey. It's the Wild Turkey Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, bourbon bourbon out of Kentucky. Um, very very uh, well known. Um, well loved whiskey, wild turkey. The master distiller is Eddie Russell. You might know Russell's Reserve also. Very, very, uh, very good whiskey too. I I have not had Russell's Reserve, but if it's better than wild turkey, uh, wild turkey is a very elegant, beautiful whiskey, kind of reminiscent of Jim Beam actually. Um, not as sweet, um, but. But very, very elegant and somewhat mature. Not as much caramel note as, like, you know, I'll say a Woodford or some of the other um, bourbons out there. There it is, the wild turkey. I'm going to give myself too heavy of a pour. I'm going to make it through this review. Um doing pretty well so <laughs> about half ounce uh, pours right now there it is um, it's kind of a lighter color than most bourbons it almost the color of scotch yeah it's got a very very nice and elegant nose um, a little bit of pungency but more elegant than pungent though so so let's give the old Wild Turkey, a, a try. Uh, it's, it's a very beautiful whiskey. I love Wild Turkey. Yeah. Not as elegant as Jim Beam. Um, I think a very, not not a very strong caramel note. More kind of like caramel, leather, and cedar. Very delicious. Um, not as elegant as Jim Beam, though, I don't think. Another bourbon that's not going to hurt your wallet too much. I think I paid, you know, maybe around $12 and under for that fifth of wild turkey. So it's, it's, it's not going to it's not gonna bust the bank, um, wild turkey. Or Jim Beam for that matter. Woodford Reserve is, is another matter. That's a little bit more on the expensive side. But I'll, I'll pay whatever it takes for Woodford, though. These are all great bourbons, though. So Another Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Wild Turkey. 
Eddie Russell is the master distiller, famous for Russell's Reserve, um, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. They're very elegant. Not a not a strong caramel note, not as sweet as a Woodford, but um, very elegant, easy to drink, and very delicious. Very delicious. Light caramel note, more leather, cedar, and, and caramel. Goes well with the um, Davidoff. Mmm. Just delicious. Drink some water to cleanse the palate. And like I said, it's a beautiful spring night out here. Sunday night, around 11.30 in the evening. In Baltimore, Maryland, Eastern Standard Time of the United States of America. Hope everyone's well out there. You know, um... I'm enjoying myself. This is wonderful. I'm, I'm enjoying my whiskeys. I'm not drinking that much. I'm, I'm only giving myself like a half ounce pour. So it's, 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 it's really not that heavy right now. Lemon to the retro oil. Alright, so we're going to move on to the, um, the next bourbon, which is a unique bourbon. It's a Virginia straight bourbon whiskey. The uh, John J. Bowman um, Virginia straight bourbon whiskey. I wanted to try this because, like, for the for most of my bourbons that I've ever had were Kentucky bourbons. So this is a Virginia bourbon. I, I I included this in one of my reviews. A wonderful, wonderful bourbon, Virginia straight bourbon whiskey, John J. Bowman, named after a colonel in Kentucky. He was the first military. Uh, commander and first military governor of Kentucky County, um, Mr. John J. Bowman. His relative, I think it was his grandnephew or grandson, moved to Virginia, Mr. Abram Bowman. Um, long history with this uh, bourbon. Um, has its roots in Kentucky, but moved over to Virginia. Wonderful, wonderful bourbon. Very unique bourbon. Very bright. Um, and crisp, kind of like an, uh, biting into an apple, but with uh, bourbon flavors. It's a wonderful, wonderful example of a bourbon, especially unique because it's a Virginia straight bourbon whiskey, something that I don't um, usually run into. Going to give myself a little bit of a pour. Um, it is a wonderful bourbon. All the bourbons so far have been just amazing. Um, so this is the last uh, bourbon before um, I hit a break. The old uh, John J. Bowman Virginia Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Mm. Yes, yeah, very, very bright, very sharp flavor, very crisp. Kind of like biting into an apple with bourbon flavors. Um, a sharp caramel note, uh, much sweeter than the last two bourbons. Very crisp, very bright, and very kind of a light in body. Very delicious. Uh, very unique, I think, in the bourbon universe. Definitely one of my favorite bourbons. And this is a Virginia straight bourbon whiskey, which is unique in its own in its own right because most most bourbons that I drink are out of Kentucky. <laughs> That's why I love Kentucky. I mean, I wish I knew some Kentucky women. <laughs> that would be nice. But I'm Maryland. I mean, not too many um, Kentucky women wander off into Maryland. So, what are the chances? So, if I did meet a nice Kentucky dame, I mean, maybe I would move to Kentucky. We'll see what happens. See what the job picture is. Let me get the retro hail and tobacco. Just a really bright. Kind of like, you know, light and the strong caramel flavor. Not a high alcohol presence. It's very crisp and bright, this uh, this um, 
John J. Bowman, Virginia Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Very uh, with a good good caramel note, but not a high not a high alcohol presence. This is very beautiful. Woo! That's it for the uh, John J. Bowman. Virginia, I almost thought I had to catch myself. Virginia straight bourbon whiskey. I mean, I would have to say that that's one of the finest examples of a bourbon that I've ever, you know, partaked in. So, wonderful, wonderful bourbon, John J. Bowman. Virginia straight bourbon whiskey. Dab it off, it's smoking great. A lot of uh, lead, pencil lead, charcoal, and sweet tobacco. I am going to hit a break. Um, my last break. Two more um, American whiskeys to go. All right. Um, bye, Escadillos. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday night out there. Hope you guys get some rest. Have you, hope you have a wonderful week. It's a beautiful spring night out here on a Sunday night around 11.35 in the evening um, in Baltimore, Maryland. All right. Y'all take it easy. Ciao. Catch you on the flip side. Okay, hello, hola, que tal, nihama, how are y'all doing out there, welcome to the special edition cigar and whiskey pairing of the Davidoff cigar and the six American whiskeys, five Four Kentucky straight bourbon whiskeys, one Virginia straight bourbon whiskey, and one Kentucky straight rye whiskey. But you know what? Enough of this rebel Virginia straight bourbon whiskey re rebellion. We're going back to Kentucky. The last two whiskeys will be Kentucky, from Kentucky. The next one, though, is not... Um, not a not a not a not a bourbon, but a Kentucky straight rye whiskey. Another Brown Foreman Corporation whiskey, as was the uh, Woodford Reserve. But this is the um, Old Forester. Kentucky straight rye whiskey. It's a rye. Um, I think sixty six percent. Is, or 65% rye in the mash bill um, with about um, I think about like 25% corn and 10% or 15% um, malted uh, malted grain so mostly rye in the mash bill very delicious whiskey kind of reminds me of um, or rum because it's very sweet and very viscous and it has a nice spice to it. I mean, more more spice than in a traditional rum. But, uh, so let's try the Old Forester, one of the oldest, uh, one of the oldest bur uh, whiskey producing companies in America. Old Forester is one of the oldest, one of the oldest continuously bourbon, bourbon whiskeys in America. Old Forester is a classic. Most most um, most whiskey drinkers should have Old Forester in their uh, portfolio. Just a wonderful, wonderful Kentucky straight rye whiskey. Here it is. Uh, it's 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 a nice. It's a dark amber color. Kind of has a nose of rum. And, and the taste is like rum, too. It's very sweet and spicy and very viscous. Oh. Has a little bit of a menthol kind of thing. And um, very good alcohol presence. Very, um, very spicy and very, very sweet, like a rum. But this is more acidic than a rum. Uh, it, it, it's more spicy too. Very delicious. Very sweet. Mellow caramel. Good alcohol presence. 
almost it has almost like a menthol kind of like um presence. Pairs well with the uh, Davidoff because the Davidoff is spicy. A lot of charcoal, sweet tobacco, and pepper. Very delicious. Let's try the old, uh, the old, uh, one. The old, the old, old Forester Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Oh, just downright delicious. Very nice. It does have a different kind of flavor, kind of character than a than a traditional bourbon. More spicy, very sweet, very good alcohol presence, and very mellow caramel. Very similar to a rum, but more spicy than a rum. All right, and. Last but not least, the last whiskey of tonight, number six of six whiskeys tonight, American whiskeys, the old Elijah Craig small batch, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, Elijah Craig, um, long history of Elijah Craig, Elijah Craig, Elijah Craig refers to the Reverend Elijah Craig, widely considered the originator of bourbon in Kentucky, the first to utilize charred oak barrels in the aging of bourbon. Consider the father of bourbon. And that's what it says here, father of bourbon. So, 94 proof, kind of high alcohol content, very delicious whiskey though. The last bourbon of the night, last but not least, last but the original, Elijah Craig Small Batch, father of bourbon, out of Kentucky, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Elijah Craig. This has also another dark kind of um, color to the uh, bourbon. Very elegant nose. So, let's try it. Very elegant. Kind of reminds me of Woodford. Not as sweet, but very. it has a very strong caramel flavor. Some vanilla. A little bit of spice. Very, very strong caramel note. Good alcohol presence. Just a very strong Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Um, very straightforward, very delicious. Menthol through the retro hail along with tobacco of the of Davidoff. Well, charcoal and tobacco. Try some more um, Elijah Craig, the the father of bourbon. That's what it says on the bottle. Ninety four proof. So it's a very delicious uh, bourbon. Very delicious. So that was the final, that was the final um, American whiskey for this American whiskey slash bourbon whiskey review of American whiskey. Have some water to cleanse the palate. With a pairing of the Davidoff Anniversario 50th Anniversary Special Artubo. It's been a wonderful companion on this ride through American whiskey in America. Just a wonderful companion on this ride. So I have a little bit left of the original and the father of bourbon, 
Elijah Craig, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Let me cheers you guys. It's still Sunday night, around 11.48 in the evening, May 19, 2019, on a beautiful spring night in Baltimore, Maryland, of the United States of America, Han. I'm wishing you all the best. All the best. Chin chin. Lahayum. Cheers. Good life. So, the Davidoff is smoking great. Um, like I said, it's been a wonderful companion on this ride through American whiskey. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the Sunday night in, in America. And wherever you are around the world, I hope you have a wonderful day or night. I hope you guys enjoyed our little tour, or my little tour, our little tour of American whiskey spanning Kentucky and Virginia. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, I hope um, there was some enlightenment and some entertainment in, in our endeavor, in my endeavor to taste and kind of convey my experience with the whiskeys and this wonderful Davidoff. So, I hope you all have a great day. What a wonderful cigar to pair with these wonderful American whiskeys. I hope everyone has a chance, you know, to enjoy whatever whiskey they, 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 they prefer or whatever libations that you prefer, whether they be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. So this has been my review of American Whiskeys and this Davidoff Anniversario 50th Anniversary Special Artubo. I wish you all the best. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please take care. Let me end this review the way I usually end my reviews. I wish all the people in the world only the best. Good health, good wealth, good fortune, well-being, only the best of friends, and most importantly, family. You all take care out there. Why ask amigos?